ah i see you <laughs> you know something i mean i know something that's why i'm smiling so let's talk about that so guys today apple decided to release mac os pixel the public beta version so if you waited for the public beta and avoided all those profiles that were coming from third party sites round of applause for you you did good you deserve it so apple has decided to release mac os public beta today and i'm going to be taking you through it and showing you step by step how you can install mac os big Sur public beta the official version from apple so join me there and let me take you through that so on the macbook that you typically want to update you want to open your browser be it safari or chrome i advise you use safari because safari tends to recognize these updates more and integrate it more with your device so if you open safari and then you go to beta.apple.com you can see that you know this site shows up apple beta software program and if you click on that you notice that it opens this tab here let's just expand that and as you can see this is the apple beta software program and with this program you are able to download ios 14 ipad os 14 betas mac os big Sur beta or mac os 11 beta tv os 14 beta and watch os 7 betas so if you have an account you can click here where it says sign in but if you don't have an account you can click here where it says sign up and yeah you can even sign up with your iCloud or Apple ID that you use. So for me, I have an account, so I'm going to click sign in. So something to keep in mind, as you can see here, when you sign in or sign up using a different MacBook for the first time or a different browser, they might need to do two factor authentication on your account. So you might need a handy secondary Apple device close by to help you with this step. So once you pass the two factor authentication, you basically come to this screen and I advise that you trust your personal macbook if you're using something mobile or something that you borrow just don't trust the device and if it's your personal device just trust it it's okay because you'll be using it personally and when you sign in you can see that this is the page that you come up on and since we logged in with the mac you can see we are on the mac section here if you want to get the ios 14 equivalent you would sign in with an iphone and it would bring you to this page also if you were to sign in with an ipad it will bring you here and if you were to sign in with the TV and it would also bring you here so let's go to the Mac section here since we want the Mac version of the beta and you can see that you know this is not official release this is the beta release so the official version is still coming soon as you can see here so if we want to download the public beta you go here where it says get started so this is the section that we want and under this section you can see that we have a link that here that says enroll your mark so when you click that link you can see that you know it tells you to basically back up your device and it tells you you know to use time machine to basically back up your device so if you have quite a number of things in your device that wouldn't fit in your iCloud yes then I do advise that you use time machine however if you don't have much you can always back up your data on iCloud and yeah that should work also and also if you want to go further just to avoid any problems in case you if your mark should crash you can partition your drive and install Mac OS 11 big Sur public beta on a certain section of your drive and keep the other partition safe so that if your mac was to crash only half or the partitioned section of it would lose data so that's how you do it and so basically once you've done that and backed up all your information uh, the next step is to go to here where it says enroll your mac and download the mac OS public beta access utility so just click that and as you can see it downloads something here and yeah let's quickly download it or save it and yeah you can see that i had the same beta so i'll just replace it for the purpose of this video and if i was to go to my downloads i would basically see that and i can easily run it so if i open my finder here and i go to my uh, downloads which is here you can see that you know i have macos public beta access utility so if i run that 
you can see that it runs the file the dmg file and then let me just open this pkg and if you haven't done a time machine backup it will basically say no time machine backup detected your mac is not currently backing up with time machine this installer will give your mac access to pre-released software you should make a backup prior to installing any beta updates and yeah as i said i do advise that you backup so for me i'll just click ok and then click continue click continue again once you've agreed to the terms and condition and agree and then you can see that you now have the option to install and this installation would take 211 kilobytes of our space on the mark so you can see that this profile is quite very small and this is the partition or the drive that is going to be installed for me on my device if you have a different partition on your macbook you can always come here and change the location or to the partition that you want to install it to and once you do that just click continue and then click install and put input your passcode and then click enter and as you can see it runs the package and script and as you can see it has now installed the uh, profile here so this is the profile that we've just installed and if you want to remove it you click restore default but as you can see it's now installed mac os 11 big Sur public beta profile so what this means is that all public beta releases that are going to come from this day forward for the macbook if you have a supported mac of course i will get those uh, public beta software updates until the official version is released so the official version is coming sometime later on in the year and so until then i'll be able to update to all public beta releases for mac os 11 big so so that's how you do it i notice a bug that comes with this public beta update so you can see that it says your mac is up to date mac os 10.16 now mac os big Sur is not version 10.16 so if i was to go to about this mac here and then um as you can see here it says mac os big Sur version 11 and this is the build number that comes with beta 2 that i'm on so i'm currently on developer beta 2 and i have mac os 11 so when you install the public beta profile you might see this just don't worry it's a bug perhaps on apple section they just need to uh, rewrite the script in their server so basically that is how you do it as you can see it's very simple and very easy to follow and also you need to know that when apple basically releases a public beta update for any software that they would have been developing it means that it has at this stage achieved some sort of stability although it's still a beta it's not the official version but yeah you can have a little bit of confidence although you do need to expect some issues and bugs with the update so that's just something small that i thought i should share thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video if you liked uh, something please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace